So I'm fixing the AC system on a Ford Expedition. And as I'm charging it and evacuating it and stuff, things just aren't going that great. I pulled this off right here where my thumb is so that I could put the dye and the oil in it because it's all been leaked out. And I get it all charged up and things are going, I can tell there's going to be a big leak somewhere, but I can't tell where I start to charge it, it charges up. And then it starts to, it, you know, blows out, starts hissing after it's been running and everything's up to pressure and cycling and the compressor's doing good. And so I'm like, what the heck? So I figure, you know, maybe I messed up the O-ring. I was really careful. I put oil on it, but sometimes that happens. And so long story short, it's the condenser, something was rubbing on the back side of it. See, listen to this. I pull my hand away from there. I had to reach in there with my hand, take my glove off and get all dirty because, you know, when it's blowing back where you can't see, and I couldn't tell if it was this line here or if it was this sensor or what it was because it's usually a connection, a O-ring or a union. But no, it just got rubbed through by a wire harness where the plastic rubs on it. So, cover it up, let it go, hiss, cover it up, stop, hiss, stop, hiss, stop. And it's just right on the curve, like right on the weld kind of thing right here. I don't remember the last time my hand was that dirty, so I always wear gloves. <laughs> so you can't feel it with a glove on. So, but anyway, this is a 98 Expedition. It's something to work, look at. If you have one, I'd maybe move that wire harness so that it doesn't rub on it. If this engine were kept a little cleaner, it'd help too. But it's just like a really fine sandpaper because everything's covered in dirt. So even plastic with some dirt on it, I'm guessing that rubbed through it. Anyway, so I'd throw that out there. <laughs> Cheers. If I hadn't seen it, I don't know if I'd have believed it. These are pretty thick aluminum. You can see that hole it wore all the way through. It was in there like that. So let me put my finger on the back side. But look at that. That's a hole. It's getting the light and maybe we can get some focus. You can see the lines where the wire loom, just that loom, just the lines on the loom, rubbed it and caused it to wear through. I think it's just, you know, the plastic in combination with 240,000 miles and uh, everything else, that uh, that's what happened. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy stuff. I'm going to put the new one in.